So first of all, I want to apologize that I was not able to to speak or to read or to sing the last two, three or four even weeks. I had a heavy infection also. And it's better to cure these things because later on it can be more problems. But now, by mercy, I am back. And I want to read Prema Bhakti Chandrika, but I had also one desire to read it in a new way. Means more connected to the life of Naratom Das Thakur. And so I had this inspiration to start with the Charitra, the uh, biography. And we have also a nice biogra biography. We have a concise biography. It is uh, based on the commentaries of Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Pad and Srila Ananda Das Bhavaji Maharaj. So I think this is a wonderful, wonderful uh, combination. And um, I am personally mostly inspired to hear about our great uh, Mahajans and their lives. Then I can have more feelings. So let's start, huh? Shri Shri Naratam Charita. It's actually the page one uh, of the Prema Bhakti Chanika. His advent, how he appeared. In the Garer Hut, subdivision of the district of Raja Shai, about 12 miles from Rampura Voya Leela, is the village of Keturi. In the book Prema Vilas, it is mentioned that one day Sriman Mahaprabhu performed Kirta in the village of Kanai Nachala when he turned his face towards the K Keturi village and exclaimed the name Naratam again and again. The Lord's mind became unsteady of ecstasy. The Lord's mind became unsteady of ecstasy means he was so much in his spiritual emotions that he could not hold his feelings. He could not hold his voice. We have heard this a lot about our dear Goranga. He was overcome by feelings again and again and that made him also so special to the devotees yes Radhacharji. ah look at this Radhe Radhe. Maharaj Ji. <laughs> Jai Nanda Ji Ki Jai. Yes, Paniti. so how are you your head is okay Yes, I feel much better. It took a long time, but now I feel much better and I feel more stable again. Wow. <laughs> By your mercy and thank you helping in this uh, Naratom Das Takos. Um, you know, I just, uh, I'm spare. <laughs> now you are my great fortune that you are there and taking care. Also now in Mongeraj Mandir, we are so lucky that you are there and taking care. <laughs> when is Gurudev expected? Soon, no? Uh, yeah, but uh, Gurudev, is, uh, at first uh, I'm coming too. Uh, but then next time in four. And then I called Rasalira, but still in hospital. He's waiting some paper from hospital. So okay, it's yeah, yeah. Back today, but uh, quite late. Back it will night. be exciting, no? everyone yeah. waiting, and it will be like um, like Nara Tom Das Thakur when Mahaprabhu felt that he was coming, he was crying, and he got in some ecstasy. So devotees also will have this feeling. That's what I can feel. <laughs> yes. Be something coming. 
some special emotional meeting will take place when Gurudev will arrive. Yeah. And I hope uh, all devotees uh, can feel it and can also feel some of the ecstasy when the Guru has come back after some long time of separation. You know, Sunichi, so the, yes. Uh, two days ago, we have Arctic, many Japanese devotees, you know, head by Ma Bhakti Himagiri have flower. All, everybody has flower. I saw the video, my God. It's so nice. Oh, my God. And then Gurudev said, oh, this I am, I am seeing seen first time. <laughs> I also, I see first time. <laughs> yes. Because I was also thinking these flowers, when there's a big group of devotees coming, and then they can make it like the garland or the entrance bow. Oh my God, it will look so beautiful. And they clean everything. What a nice way to to worship and to to give love. And I told a little bit more about the Himagiri. Radhika has, you know, play lotus. You know, hand, play lotus. Sometimes. Yes, the play lotus, yes. Then sometimes more have something <laughs> like this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if he gets out of control, he has to be, you know, a little bit, uh, how do you say that, put in the right place. <laughs> nice. And everyone is bringing the play load. This is also nice meditation. <laughs> Great. Now I saw it and the videos are so important for us also because we can take part, we can take and get the feelings also. Mm. Gora and me, we were also discussing how nice it is to bring the flowers in big quantity and to make a nice bowl and to give Adarani a lot of more play lotuses. <laughs> so, the Lord's mind became unsteady of ecstasy. So, so which page, which verse? We are, are in the very first page. Okay. Starting with the biography. Uh -huh. Very good. I like it because it gives so many feelings and so many um, deeper connections to the whole Prima Bhakti Chandrika. And I was not in the mood for so much philosophy. So I think, yeah, let's do the biography. <laughs> So, yeah, I was just thinking, yeah, usually my mind becomes unsteady out of non-ecstasy. But in, in, my, in Goranga's case, it is ecstasy and the mind becomes unsteady because of ecstasy. That must be such a nice feeling. <laughs> we are praying for the day that the mind will become steady or unsteady. First steady and then unsteady out of ecstasy. Chitta vritti, na, like Udif says, first we have the focus and then we can flow into the feelings. And when Sri Nityananda Prabhu, Haridas, Vakreshwara and other associates saw Mahaprabhu's ecstatic feelings, they thought with the heart shivering of ecstasy. There is a person named Naratam who Mahaprabhu greatly loves, or Goranga greatly loves. And the, he will manifest there, and the Lord will accomplish many things through him. See, that is also very interesting. Here we can feel and read about the oneness of Goranga and all her her associates let's say like goranga is radharani and krishna who is watching then all the different devotees also especially nityananda prabhu they could feel they could feel uh, shrimati radhika's feelings mohan's feelings they saw the feelings and they thought my god there is a person 
named Naratam, whom Mahaprabhu greatly loves, he will manifest. And the Lord will accomplish many things through him. See, that is the the kind of oneness that we talk about a lot of times. They see and they they feel it, what Mahaprabhu is going through. When he is speaking the name Naratam in a in a loud voice with a lot of emotions, then they know that this person will be a very special soul. And as we know, Naratam is also uh, one of the Dasis of Srimati Radhika that has come to give this world, this Raga Bhakti, this Prema Bhakti. And see that the devotees, they thought with their hearts shivering of ecstasy. Because when Mahaprabhu, when Gauranga is experiencing his ecstatic feelings, all the devotees also can feel them. And their hearts were shivering with ecstasy. And they could also foresee the future that this person will appear in this village of Kituri. And Mahaprabhu loves this soul so much. And because their connection is eternal, there is an eternal connection. Mahaprabhu or Goranga or Gorangi will manifest their love through this person. And the devotees could feel it, they could um, cherish it, and they could exchange amongst each other about the glories of Narata. So we can uh, see that the Gaura Leela and the uh, Radha Krishna Leela, they are so closely connected. And because we have gotten so much mercy from our Gurudev, we can also feel the connection. It's nothing that is artificial. It comes naturally by just hearing about it. We also naturally feel connected and feel a drop of the feelings that the devotees, the Dasis, actually, were also having when. Mahaprabhu was calling the name of Narata. Because, yeah, who is Narata? Of course, he is a devotee and he is a bhakta and he is uh, a great uh, instrument. But of what? He is really, I forgot the name. Someone uh, uh, remembers the name of the the, the Manjari ba, Manjari name of Naratam Das Thakur? Mm -hmm. Champaka Manjari. Aha, here it is on page four. Champaka Manjari. So this Champaka Manjari is coming and Goranga or Gorangi, they feel it more Srimati Radhika because that is her eternal dasi. Krishna has a, you know, another uh, relationship with her. First of all, we can feel here that Srimati Radhika is calling her dasis also from the spiritual world to assist her in her services. And now comes another aspect that I find very, very interesting. Sriman Mahaprabhu told Lord Nityananda, Sripad, listen and consider duly. You know what is the meaning of Sripad? Sripad is the one who is sitting on the feet of Sri. And Sri is the goddess of fortune. She is our Srimati Radhika. So Sri Pad is a very high level um, address. Actually, we can feel that Lord Chaitanya Gauranga says, 
or you who are always sitting at the lotus feet of Sri. Listen and consider duly. Consider duly means think about it deeply, meditate. You don't know your own glories. How can you know your own glories? You're a madman. You're always mad in prayer. But I will tell you now what happened and why I feel like I feel right now. You don't know your own glories. You have wept so much back in Nila Chala. And every day I have saved that love of yours. You know, in Nilachala, in Puri, the feelings of Nityananda were always in separation. Separation of Rindavan. Separation of Navadvip. And also, not only that, but also always weeping because of Prem. These are the, the tears of, of divine love. And uh, Gauranga says to Nityananda, every day I have saved that love of yours. So that is very amazing. What does it mean? I was I was thinking, what does it mean that keeping the love of Nityananda? Because Nita is also the one that always opened the marketplace of Prem and giving out the holy name. And he is the one that was saving Jagai and Madai by giving them forgiveness of their ignorance and of their material coverings. When Mahaprabhu was more in his Vishnu consciousness and wanted to punish them with his chakra. But Nitai is always full of feelings for all the souls. When he weeps, that love is so powerful. That is so powerful that Gauranga says, I have saved that love of yours. Isn't that an amazing feeling just to meditate? That this love that came from Nityananda's heart and his ecstasies of separation or meeting or whatever, Whatever different feelings he had and whatever reasons he cries, it is always prema. So Mahaprabhu is so connected in Nitai because they are our dear Gorangi and our dear Ananga Mandri. So they are so close, they are more than sisters. They are non different from each other. That's what Gurudev was teaching us. We should not see a difference between them because it is that they are so close and so similar in feelings. So when Nitai is crying or Ananga Mandri is crying, whatever manifestation we want to meditate about, it is so close to Srimati Radhika's tears and to Srimati Radhika's feelings that Gauranga said openly in front of all the devotees, I have kept, I have kept every tear of you. I have kept, I have saved that love of yours. I have not, I didn't. I'm fully aware of all the love that you have. I didn't forget it. I wanted to, I have, I have a container for this. 
I kept Isn't that amazing how it is working in the realm of praying of divine love that the tears that Nittai was crying Mahaprabhu has collected these tears and uh, now he says I am placing that love of yours on the bank of the Padmavati in a receptacle named Narottama. We have the proof here how to get praying. The praying that we are so much eager for or that we are praying and wishing and begging and crying for, if we are lucky, we can cry for it. I'm not so lucky. But at least reading this makes me um, emotional because now Goranga is placing the love of Nityananda the Prem that is not only ordinary love that is Prem that Prema is possibly only received and not uh, worked for because sometimes after practicing bhakti yoga, maybe for 30, 40 or more years, then again and again, I come to that same point that I cannot work that prem in my own working modus. No, I cannot be a worker of prem. I can be a beggar of prem. And so we see and we listen here that uh, Mahaprabhu or Goranga he has placed the love of Ma of Nittai on the bank of Padmavati. He has placed the tears of Nittai, the tears of Prem, begging for all the souls to be able to get a you know drop of mercy of this. Nittai, who is the original Guru Dev, Guru Devi? Gurudev as Nityananda and Gurudevi as Ananda Madhuri. And he is so powerful that Nityan uh, Gauranga is, is collecting her tears. Huh? Shrimati Radhika is collecting the tears of Ananda Madhuri. And with these tears of Prem, she is empowering and um, yeah, she is bringing one of her mantras down to this planet Earth and is reviving her with this. He is the receptacle. So that is the point that I like most. The We can only be a receptacle, means someone who is receiving. And to be receiving, there needs to be a special quality of this, you know, of many qualities, but I guess mostly humility and surrender to Shrimati Radhika and being ready to be a instrument of love. I don't know, maybe you want to add on this. I like to listen also from you. Uh, can I add them? I think this is okay. Can you hear? Yes. So this, I feel this receptacle is like uh, in Sanskrit, say, patra. Patra. Vessel. Mm. Yeah. We, we, we used to say Kripa patra. Yes. So, is very humble, surrendering, get full mercy of Gurudev or Radharani. That person we say, you are Kripa Patra. Right. So Patra means that kind of vessel. So if we have some vessel, we can keep, say, there is some soup. 
and some kind of cup, some vessel there, we can keep it soup. Then we can, we can deliver. Okay, this soup is very good. Please take it. So, similarly, Narottama Das was so qualified to take this prema. His respect, this, uh, receptacle of, of, uh, yeah, that's better. It was a little bit, um, too, not so loud. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of Narottama Das is Kripa Patra. So he's like a vessel. He can receive prema. And also he can distribute prema. A few days ago, uh, we are discussing, uh, Gurudev, Gurudev's before going to hospital. Just in the morning, he told us. Because now, Every morning, uh, some Kirtania came and singing Narottama Das Tag songs. And, uh, Gurudev is saying, especially Prarutana, we have to remember Prarutana. This is all essence of, you know, scripture and uh, Narottama Das is word. In Sadaka Deha and Siddha Deha, very one point. So, but some of Acharya wrote many songs, but not one pointed. So, especially Gurudev and another Acharya, especially in Brindaban, many Babaji strongly recommend to, to, to hear this Narottama Das Thakur song, especially Prarutana. Because he's completed one point to be Manjari Baba. So, therefore, Narottama Das was so much empowered by Goranga Mahaprabhu and also Nityananda Babu. So, this, this, uh, receptacle, as I just remember, Kripa Patra, some, someone who receives the mercy or some, some, someone who can correct mercy. Sometimes, you know, our problem like this. Okay, we want to receive the mercy, but our hand is open it. And mercy just come, come, say, fall, you know, fell down. Tripping out. Yeah. And we cannot keep it. That is our problem. Why that? Because we have, you know, other, other desire, material desire. Okay. So I, I have to go. <laughs> Guru Dev is calling me. Jai Radhe. Wonderful. I'll continue for another 30 minutes. Yeah. And I hope you make some videos. <laughs> Radhe Radhe. <laughs> Very nice. You also want to go Radha Charan? I don't understand what's happened. Ah. Yeah, Gurudev was coming, calling, and that's why he has to go, he said. Yes, of course I want to go. So I will continue. Okay. So, again, I will repeat this beautiful uh, paragraph. Where Goranga says, three part. My dear Nityananda, listen and consider duly. You don't know your own glories. You have wept so much back in Nilachala, and every day I have saved that love of yours. Now I am placing that love of yours on the bank of the Padmavati in a receptive girl named Naraton. Yes, Kripa Patra. The carrier of mercy, container of mercy. He 
he will take birth in frame, in my presence. So that is also a very extraordinary um, remark that he will take birth in frame. It's like he becomes fully self-realized and fully ecstatic in his Siddha Swarup. Means he will continuously know about himself and he will uh, yeah, help others to also understand their eternal constitutional position. But as we know, and that is the interesting thing, Naratam became crazy, yes, and he had this urge to find a teacher and he was going to Vrindavan, but not until he had the mercy of Shilan Lokanath Goswami, he became fully realized. It is also to be seen here that at the same time that we hear now they are self-realized mandaris and they have a full um, frame, but in their human, uh, like uh, Leela, let's say it like this, they also progress in their own ways. And that is amazing also at the same time. It's not like a magic wand is there and says, okay, now you are who <laughs> and you know this and this person, and then you know um, what to do. No, no, they are also wandering around and uh, begging the mercy of their Gurudev, although they are already full of prayer. And that is what we call the human like Leelas. Human like Leelas. And that is also very interesting that Goranga said that he will keep this frame in the river Padmavati. Uh, that is very uh, mystical, isn't it? And that is also one of the reasons why we take bath in these holy rivers like Radhakund, Yamuna, uh, Prema Charova, uh, Sarovara, all these. Uh, special places in Rindavan where we want to beg for mercy also and beg for prayer. This prayer was there. It's there. It's not lost. It's there. This prayer. Like when Chaitanya Gauranga was putting the frame there. It's not that um, there's no more frame available in this world because Nada Tomdas Taku has taken up all the frame. No, this frame is still there and it's still um, powerful because the holy rivers, they store it. They are containers of this mercy, of this frame. How could uh, the river otherwise give it to Narottam? It's very mystical how Goranga is giving this love, which he says it comes from uh, the Prema tears of Nitai. He's giving it, he has collected it, and he's giving it to the devotees who are ready to receive, who are receptacles means their hearts are turned up and their hearts are able to keep the mercy. They have this loyalty, they have this unselfish existence that they are the containers of mercy, of Kripa. So Niti, I'm sorry, uh, my mind is just captivated. Uh, uh, for what we said before, that Goranga Mahaprabhu was saved this love from the uh, tears, yeah, from, from the tears of Nityananda. 
So I just uh, I'm I'm still there. In that point, mm -hmm. it's, you know, it means that uh, Nityananda is so important that Nityananda it's look, it looks like he's described here is more important than Goranga. You know, they they all, this is some kind of a joke, but also also it, this is it, this is right like that. So, I think so too. Uh, mm -hmm. No, I, I think just on this point, it must be meditated more, more and more. <laughs> there is something, there is something more in this, in to what we, yeah, what I think must be because, revealed. Yeah, the, this, uh, it is very, it's very deep. And I think also it is a, a beautiful um, meditation for chanting or for, you know, and going at bed at night and trying to churn and trying to get some revelation, get some mercy on this because it is the tears of Nitai and uh, and Goranga says even to Nitai that you don't know your own glories. You don't even know that every drop of tear that is coming from you is full of cream. Because Nitai is uh, uh, so mad in this love that he often does things that nobody can really understand. And that's why he also, that's why I think that Mahaprabhu says, you don't know your own glories. You don't know what is the power of your feelings. But for me, I know it. <laughs> because you and me, we are not different. <laughs> It's very amazing, very amazing. Just like you said, it, it can be really pointed to to meditate constantly and to pray to understand that. Actually, like you said, that prema is not the question of the work, but of begging. No? Yes, and to connect with the glories of the ones who are the prema, and this is Nitai Goranga, and and this also for me, it's special that. Uh, that the this is from I think from the Prema Vilasa. It's a, a one handwritten book from one devotee. That they have heard it. They have heard it. They were there. They hear it with their own ears, no? and then they write it down. Like the Swarup Damoda was writing down many things. And uh, others were writing down Murari Gupta, different, different devotees, the, the associates of Vitai and Goranga, they write this down, what they have heard. And I think it's very special that here Goranga is um, showing openly the glories of Nityananda. And that's why also Gurudev says to us so many times, Without Nityananda, nothing is happening. <laughs> Even here, Gora is saying it himself. He says, you don't know your own glories. Because why you don't know? Because you're so childlike. You're like a pagali. You're always a little bit, you know, mad. <laughs> you're so full of prem that you don't even know it. And every teardrop, every every emotion that comes from you is my highest treasure. Mm -hmm. And that's why in, he says that I have saved that love of yours. I have saved it. It's like a very powerful elixir. You know, sometimes in these movies, they have magicians and they make this elixir, this magic <laughs> drink. <laughs> So yeah, the Goranga says that I, 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 you know, I cannot, uh, I cannot, uh, one tear of your love, one feeling of your prem cannot be wasted. It needs to be distributed. <laughs> so that is a very, very, uh, this is giving me feelings, honestly. This is giving me deep uh, attachment also to Nitai Goranga. And then I can maybe try to try to come closer the, of the to the relationship between 
Shimati Radhika and uh, her sister uh, Ananga Mandri. You remember when uh, uh, Param Gurudev said to Gurudev you know, that he must go to Prabhupada because he is manifestation you know, of Nityananda himself. You know? It looks yes. to be that only in, in the manifestation of Prabhupada, Nityananda is not so not present. He was very present, very, uh, you know, compact, <laughs> not like he's described. How you can do like what Prabhupada did in 12 years if you are not empowered? Uh, not possible. This is all happening because of the prem that Prabhupada received also from Nitai. And that he had from his Gurudev, from Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Tago. This is all the power of the, you know, disciplic succession and the loyalty and the faith that someone has. And then this will happen in the same way, like Nitai Edor. He says also, I save your tears. And with these tears, somebody else will be blessed. With your love, these tears are prema, you know, pure prema tears. And that is uh, not only the tears, but he says also, he will take birth in prema, in my presence. He will take birth in prema means actually when he is receiving these tears, he will be a pure uh, prema bhakta <laughs> and then yeah later on we hear more about it what kind of devotee Narottam Das Thakur Mahashai is and he is revealing it in his life more and more in his life to be and at that moment he has not even taken birth so we see also that uh, Goranga and Nityananda they are completely aware of their devotees uh, who will come and uh, what is their um, duties or like their services and they will accomplish things through the devotees according to their own, um, how do you say, um, pleasure. They will choose the devotees and give them their prema, and then they will also give them uh, the lifetimes that will develop and show to others how to behave or be a devotee, how to be in prema, how to be in these different, different kinds of uh, stages of bhakti. After that, Sriman Mahaprabhu came to the village of Kutupura and took a bath in the Padmavati, while his associates commenced a kirtan on the bank. The Lord then roared loudly, and his body began to shiver vehemently out of ad ecstatic love. We can see also very nice that the associates, they felt already the special mood of Goranga and they sat down, they do kirtan and he is going into his moods, into his feelings. And then he roared loudly, very loudly, like a lion. We know Mahaprabhu, he is like a lion. His body began to shiver vehemently. Not only like a small goosebumps, but ecstatic shivering, like, you know, maybe it looks crazy on the outside even. But it was all out of ecstatic love. And then the Lord calls the Padmavati and says, Padmavati, take this frame. And keep it for me. Give it later to the receptacle named Naratom. I have placed this prema in you and in Nityananda. Keep it 
with care and discretion. It's also amazing that I have placed this prema in you and in Nityananda. And then Padmavati replied, Oh Master, I pray to you, how will I know whose name Naratama? How will I know who is Naratama? Mahaprabhu replied, He who is touch will make higher waves on you. That is Naratama. Give this prema to him. That is very amazing because he is like, a, you know, the greatest magic or the greatest mercy of this divine love he will keep in this river. And uh, this river, she doesn't even know who is Narottam. But Mahaprabhu says, yes, when, when she will touch or Naratam will touch you, you will feel some ecstasy because this devotee is already full of ecstasy and you will feel that is the person that Goranga has given me prema to give to. So nice meditations. And uh, yeah, sometimes we are asking ourselves, how is prema given? How is prema transferred? And here we can see that our whole um, history of prema is going and starting with Nitai Goranga, especially because we know this is not only any prema that is Mandriba. That is the feeling of Radha and Krishna. Arranging their meeting, getting the obstacles out of the way, serving Srimati Radhika in that feeling of a girl messenger or a girl flower girl or any kind of seva that is required to Srimati Radhika's meeting of her beloved. And that is the frame that they were experiencing and coming to distribute. So I will just check. Okay, we have still 10 minutes. Almost at the same time as Sri Goranga Mahaprabhu's disappearance, around the year 1531, to 1532, on the full moon day of the month of Maga in February, in the afternoon, Srila Naratanda Stakur appeared from the womb of Narayani Devi, the wife of Raja Krishna Nanda Datta, in the village of Kituri. So, <clears throat> very interesting, because as I remember, Mahaprabhu, the Goranga, said that he will take birth in Prema in my presence. So that is, I think, a double meaning, but interesting to meditate on. What does it mean? He will take birth in Prema in my presence. So, okay, we just listen that uh, Mahaprabhu's disappearance and Naratama Das Thakur's appearance, they happen to the same time. So, we might consider that when um, Naratama Das Thakur is coming to Padmavati and taking birth in Prem, in Goranga's presence means that Goranga and Nitananda appeared to him then and there. 
and they gave him birth in prayer. Very nice and sweet points. And that was only the beginning, and I, I, or that this is only the beginning, and I'm so happy that we are going through the, all these beautiful, beautiful leelas, and we can go sentence for sentence so deep into the life and into the feelings of Chaitanya, Nityananda, Naratam Dastako, and also it's so nice to hear that Naratam also was born in the king's family, the wife of Raja Krishna Nandadatta, in the village of Kituri. And all his life was already kind of planned. <laughs> Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya, Gauranga, they, they called the Dasis. Come now, you can take birth. We are not here then, but we have prepared everything. They will prepare everything for the Dasi so they can continue their services. Okay, my dears, here I want to stop for today. And uh, thank you for coming. Who is there? Louisa Mangala Arti Rajeshwari Prema Bhakti Chandrika Sudhi Raja Vilasani. Thank you all for coming and listening. Radha Radha. Thank you, Suniti. Thank you. Thank you very much. What? You are not sick. You are healthy now. I'm so happy. <laughs> yes, getting, yes, you know, every um, bodily purification is also mental and emotional purification. <laughs> so I took my time and I'm happy also that Gurudev came out of the hospital. The lungs yes. and the Bronx, this is like not so easy, especially when you speak a lot. And I just pray that Gurudev will still be able to come back to his strength. We heard his voice today. It was still very shaky and still coughing because when you speak, you have to cough when there's still some irritation. So we pray that Gurdiv will be fine and we will be happy that he can meet all the devotees. He must be also so eager that he can meet all the devotees now. After yeah. How long he was now? Maybe five days only. I don't, I didn't even calculate. So, my dears, thank you for all your mercy. And let's uh, go on inspiring each other. <laughs> In the prema bhakti jaha hoite avidea vinashayate.